Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray and Rock God Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with Rock God Rick Maxa. In the studio with us, our good buddy Captain Mark Gillette from the Eclipse and Commander. Having a great show talking. Fishing. Here it's Halloween a week from the day, and I, we're talking a lot of good fishing. I just love that we're talking local Wahoo. Like, oh. I mean, here, <laughs> coming back from Let's Talk Up, we're talking about half day Wahoos on the yeah. El Gato and the new Seaforth and all this great fishing's going on. And like I said, we get so wrapped up in a Wahoo. That, Clips had limits of yellowfin yesterday. I mean, there's good fishing going on right now. Crazy. It, it's kind of, you know, you, you see, especially around the landings, you see that thing that we always talk about, the fish outlasting the fishermen, and you know, you're kind of watching it happen right now. I mean, there's really good fishing to be had. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, and we love talking about it, man. We want to have you talk about it this morning. Come be a part of Let's Talk Cook-Up. If you want to join us, have your chance to talk to Captain Mark Gillette, 858 457 1090. That's our local number. Again, 858 858- Four five seven ten ninety. That's the only number that's open right now. But you can also get three on our toll free line. It's packed up right now, but there'll be plenty of shots for you on that one. That's eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. Again, eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. Not only talking all kinds of fishing and having fun this morning, and talk about how much we all hate the Raiders. We also are. Ta- <laughs> we also are giving away a really cool prize. We want to thank Mark for that too. It's a overnight trip going fishing aboard the Commander at a Fisherman's Landing. Get in on all that great fishing and have a lot of fun while you're doing it. And with that, it's time to find out what's biting out there. Catchport today is sponsored in part by Job Site Supply, specializing in the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing trades. Unistrut is the original metal framing system featuring a unique weldless construction. Unistrut metal framing is a time and money saving alternative to conventional support methods. And you can come see the largest selection of Unistrut at Job Site Supply. Co.com for more details. Indeed. Let's go ahead and talk to Captain Mark Wish from Pacific Edge with our fishdope.com report. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning, Pete. Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Well, guys, we are definitely seeing some signs of our record breaking offshore season winding down a little bit. You know, still plenty of fish, but like Ricky was just saying there, I think the guys are just burnt out. They're, they're getting to be done, but it's by no means over, not by a long shot. There's Still some good marlin fishing to be had up to the west. That water below the Channel Islands Road fish been up there for a few months now. Uh, water's still 72 and clean. Lots of life up there and still decent fishing. A little slower, but still very good fishing up there. What an amazing bite that that has been. And then some of that stuff is starting to trickle onto our local banks now. We're seeing a little more uh, marlin here on the inside. As far as our tuna fishing goes, that local stuff, is it's mostly smaller, and you got to find exactly the right kelp. You know, it's... It takes some searching around to find it, but in that 14, 267, 209 zone, is still holding. Uh, and like I say, you got to find that right kelp, and it's light line and small hooks and anchovies to get them guys to bite. Uh, for those better grade tuna fish, you're going to have to take a little bit of a road trip. There's still multiple options to be had. There's uh, still very good water around Santa Barbara Island and the Osborne. You know, Sainers got on that a little bit ago and kind of, uh, wrapped it up, and uh, everybody just wrote it off. I would not do that. <clears throat> Water's very good there. It's clean and warm. There's marlin up on the bank. Still some tuna fish around that zone. At San Clemente Island, two spots to keep an eye on for tuna fish, both the nine up to the west and Desperation Reef down outside China Point there is both good late-season tuna sectors. And then around the 43 proper, both anchoring up on the bank and chopping and chumming and chunking there as well as fishing the kelps in that zone. You find the right kelp there for the, some of that nicer tuna in, in Dorado also. And then with the weather, better weather now, uh, time to recheck that Cortez and Tanner. Water's still 70 degrees out there. But I've been saving the best for last. You know, it's got to be about those Wahoo, of course. So last night, right after dinner, my phone rings, and I look over, and I see it's Danny from Fish Dope, and his first words, is I got one. He was so yeah. Yeah, you know about that. He's uh, 
you know, guys, he's been putting so many people on those Wahoo for months, and now he's finally got his just reward. He got a beauty there coming home from Catalina yesterday. Congratulations, Danny. But let me tell you guys, there is a lot of Wahoo around here. You know, we saw that first signal last year. This year is like, oh, my God, there's just – it's just been crazy good for the guys that have focused on how to catch them. But uh, outside the nine there – Really, Mark? I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> well, I went out well, twice seen, this week, and I haven't seen one, you know. So. I, I have not yet personally caught one either. It's not for lack of trying, but, oh, my God. You know, the guys outside the nine there and from San Onofre to Oceanside, between the domes and the golf balls, you know, we were down there Sunday for a little bit. I cannot believe the amount of boats tacking around that ledge in there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, 14 to 267, up around the rigs of 150 southeast bank. That's There's been some good fishing there, guys. And yeah. then. Around Catalina proper, you know, it's still on the plugs and bombs and, you know, rig your marlin jigs on wire. A lot of those guys are getting bit on marlin jigs and heavy tackle. And hold on, you know, those fish lasted last year, which did not have the same conditions as this year. We are much better. But they were here December last year. So uh, we ain't going to be fishing them right till Christmas this year, I'm oh, oh, Okay, yeah, there's one guy in this room that can say that he, he goes out and targets Wahoo and catches them every time. Well, I know. Rock Cod Rick. <laughs> I mean, he's like... I call him Lucky Ricky now. I'm telling you what, that yeah. guy's got the life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he does. So anyway, fishdope.com. Danny, and we talked about earlier with his 60-pound wild. He's been putting people on fish all year, no matter what. And, you know, you look at fish dope. I look at it twice a day, every day, find out what's going on, where, what the conditions are. And even if you're not fishing, you can be wishing just by looking at it and save 20 bucks right now on a hook. On a, using the code HOOKUPNOW on a fishdope.com new membership. Fishdope.com, just put uh, HOOKUPNOW, all small letters, no space, in the code box. And, Mark, how do we find you? Uh, Pete, we're on the corner of Bolsa Cheek and Edinger in Huntington Beach. Phone number is 714-840-4262. Website, which is soon going to have pictures of a brand-new bait tank, which might go on a brand-new 25-foot parker for some guy that I know. Whoa! Uh, PacificEdgeTackle.com. Cool. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. Your boat's almost here, huh? Yeah, I talked to Kevin yesterday. Our boat is officially on the road headed for West Coast Marine. So nice. Pretty, cool. pretty uh, not ecstatic and excited aren't the words. Those don't yeah. even come close and to describing And it's going to have a Pacific Edge bait tank. Wouldn't even it. dream about yeah. putting anything else on the back What's, of that what, thing. What are you putting on there? Well, we, we talked about it, and we're going to make sure that the fit is right, but I, I basically put my thought into Mark's hands and just said, all I want is a Pacific Edge tank, Mark's the best, and all we want to do is hold an absurd amount of bait. And he just said, I got the one for you, come on up. So that's well, what we're I, doing. Ricky, I canceled that idea. We made you something brand new and special. You're going to have number one part out of a brand new mold. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Wow. I mean, How I, many gallons? Uh, well, we haven't even... Got the bottom in it. I, I looked at the shell the other day. The first part's out of the mold, but we'll 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 do the official test soon. But it's going to be eighty-five to ninety gallons. Oh, that's man, what, that's, that's what, what I'm monster. talking about. <laughs> We're down on my boat. That's, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> really? That's and but you know the the things that I've learned over the years is you know you trust the people that know how to do it better than you do and. I don't know about bait tanks, and I know the guy that does the very best in the world, and that's Mark. And so all I said was, you know our platform, and you know what we want to do, and we want the very best tank. And and that's it. And wash your hands of it and know that the guy that's the best at it is going to put the best thing on there, and, and that's exactly what we're doing. There it is. Mark, how do we find you? We want the best bait tank in the world. Uh, we're on the corner of Bolsa Cheek and Edinger in Huntington Beach, 714-840-4262, PacificEdgeTackle.com, and I'll uh, send you a picture of that shell right now, Ricky. <laughs> right on, man. Can't wait. I'll Thanks, send, Mark. Yeah. Talk to you next you Saturday. Right, Appreciate Mark. that. Hey, we'll a place that we've been talking about all morning that has had some phenomenal fishing, and that's C4 Sport Fishing, and our buddy Marcos is standing by. What's up, Marcos? Good morning. I think we've had some uh, similar fishing to what we've been seeing there. Still, still some good fishing on the half day. Catching yelltail, bonita, calico bass, sand bass, some rockfish, a few other exotics in there here and there. The three-quarter day, the San Diego has been fishing out the islands looking for yelltail, bonita, same thing, calico bass, sand bass. And I know we saw a few more Wahoo in the count this week. So pretty much what we've been seeing for a while here. Still got some nice weather. I mean, it got a little gloomy there for a bit. It looks like things are back to normal there. And we're going to keep running these trips. The half day will keep running. The three-quarter day, the San Diego is scheduled for the islands there. So passport is required. Those offshore, or the one-day trip, excuse me, going offshore looking for Yellowstone, Dorado, and Skipjack. Slow down a little bit. Had some good counts in there. Definitely a little slower the last couple of days, but they'll keep going out there until 
You know, the fish go away or the people lose interest, but overall, good fishing. Check the website, seaforthlanding.com. We have our full schedule up there for those half days, the three-quarter days, the one days. We have some longer trips in there also if you're looking for two, two-and-a-half, three-day trips. There's a few here and there. And you can find it all up there. You can make reservations straight online, or you can give us a call at the office, 619-224-3383. We're happy to help you guys out and get you out there fishing. Marcos, I just can't get over the fishing that we've been having, and Seaforth has just been at the forefront of it all all year. And we've been having so much fun talking to Mark about half-day wahoos and local wahoos and the crazy good fishing that's still going on. And it's been so much fun to watch this season go down, and we're, we're pumped for everything that's been happening there at Seaforth Sport Fishing. Uh, it's been a great season so far, and I'm sure we've still got some more fishing to come here. Yeah, it's going to agree more. Thanks, Marcos. Appreciate that report. We'll talk to you next week. And uh, uh, that is our catch for today. We're going to be getting a report here real soon, uh, a lobster fishing report, which That'll is going to be, be fine. Kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So uh, we'll jump into that. And, in fact, let's go jump into that right now. Captain Brandon Hayward is uh, hey. on the lobster. Good morning, Brandon. Hi, good morning. How you guys doing? Doing We're great. Doing great. Doing great. Under- so you've been catching them, huh? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been good. I think everyone's still... Uh, mostly focused on fishing or just spending time after a great summer, but we've been at the island for 13 trips, I think, and limits every time over there. <laughs> That's crazy. Limits every time. That's the Brandon guarantee, right? The one-man charter guarantee? Yeah, that's it. I'm doing that for uh, October, November, December, and March. Not that January and February is any slower, but I like to have a little bit of time off, so I try to kind of front load and back load those trips. <laughs> yeah, Roger. And I see now you have the ace line hauler aboard. Yeah, well, you know how deep I go sometimes, Pete. Oh, so yeah. uh, Is that thing the greatest center. thing on earth? So it's deep. incredible. No, it's really good. <laughs> and the guys still have to put in a little bit of work and pull it and drop it and everything, so it just adds to the experience for sure. But it just makes for pulling sure. those deep ones uh, just that much better. It's it's yeah. like still the effort of hoop netting, but you're just not tired and sore when it's over with. Yeah, you know, it, like you it's kind of like when we first started using two speed reels for, you know, right. shorter you range, long range trips. Once you catch a couple fish, you're like, oh man, I, I, I can't believe we're doing it the other way. I know. I can't even imagine hauler. going lo- hooping without the ace line hauler. It's just yeah. once you, it's kind of like you say, it's like a two speed reel. Once you use it. You can't go back. Yeah, no, that's, that's yeah. The no, it's been a it's been a great addition. So I just wanted to call in, put that out there, and uh, you know if you have your own boat or you want to come out with me, either way, it's it's really good lobstering. It's El Nino as well. Yeah. So tell me, how do we get aboard? I want to come. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, uh, the boat will be in. Uh, I've been based out of Catalina for a little while here, but the boat will be uh, at Dana Wharf Sport Fishing as of November first. Cool. I don't have anything open. I think until. Uh, like November 11th, I have an open party, and I have some stuff later on in the month, and I have a few dates in November for charter if anyone wants to come out. And as long as there's some Wahoo to be had, we're definitely trying for those things coming and going. I would say there's nothing been cooler than an occasional picture we've seen on your Facebook page and things like that. Than we had it on our uh, Hookup 1090 page, the feature photo last week. A pile a so, pile of lobsters with a Wahoo sitting next to yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So good. So yeah, good. It's pretty and, cool. And just the fact, you know, it's great to catch uh, – that's an exotic fish, but you know how it is after you've caught one or two. It's neat to catch them at a place that's really special to you or in shallow water. So the fact that you can troll down Catalina and have a shot at catching a wahoo is just incredible. Even if you go into the tuna club and you look through, like, the annuals and all the photos and everything, this is one thing that's never happened at that island. And this is a birth that's a birthplace of modern West Coast sport fishing. There's never been wahoo caught there before, and this year there's been – Definite double digits. Amazing. How rad is that? All right, how do we get a hold of you if we want to go fishing with one-man charters? I had a phone until I dropped it in my coffee. Uh uh, (laughs) Uh-huh. Way to go, Brandon. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Um, So the best way to probably just go through my website, uh, onemancharters.com. And then uh, after the first, you could always call Dana Wharf and just book your charter through there as well. Oh, you can book it right through Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. Yeah, yes. Very good. All right, Brandon okay. Hayward, onemancharters.com. Thanks for the lobster report. Okay, thanks okay. for taking it. Have a good day. See you, see you, see you All right, see you later. That's so rad. Yeah. You know, the other thing that's so cool about that, too, for, you know, guys that maybe hooped on the coast or up and down but haven't gone to Catalina, where, or, you know, obviously where some of his trips are, is those Catalina bugs are big, man. Like, they're, nice. these aren't like and they're just, sweet. They are so good. Yeah. Clean water. And clean, the clean. reason Catalina is so good is it doesn't get commercially fished. Mm-hmm. And so that year-round, you can get good 
uh, nice quality lobster on that front side of Catalina. Mm-hmm. So it's illegal to commercially fish so that the, the hoop guys have an opportunity to actually uh, get some nice quality stuff. Cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. All right. Let's go ahead and jump back into the phones. You got it, man. Well, the phones are definitely packed up. This time we're going to talk to Paul. He's calling us in Bellflower. Good morning, Paul. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Pete, Rick, and Mark. Hey, Good morning, um, Paul. M- Mark, those jigs that you were talking about, I know where to find some at Fisherman's Depot in Bellflower. Mo found some while he was looking for some stuff for me, and he found a whole bunch of those jigs. Anyway, awesome. my question is, Mark, uh, the traditional peak season is coming to an end traditionally in Prince Street. Are you guys going to lower your prices to that to adjust to the traditional uh, off season? while the fish is still biting, or are you just going to keep it the way it is? Uh, you know, for the most part, we, we'll, we'll lower our prices shortly, but the cost of operating is still the same. Yeah. So, and yeah, that doesn't change. That doesn't change. That's a constant. So, you know, um, a lot of boats do. You know, that's their prerogative. Um, I like to think that we, we sell on our experience and what we bring to the table, the safety of the vessel, the crews that we maintain, and be able to, to – um, um, offer that and do that for our customer base it comes at a cost so um you know we, we we're like i said earlier we're the eclipse is going to be pretty much running whale watch trips here um but I, hopefully the commando will get some trips out and i'm, I'm sure there's going to be a slightly discounted price but it won't be too too far off um especially i mean more really over so we're running further to, to go get what we've got to yeah. go get. And, and so you're burning more fuel. You're burning more fuel. And that's number one cost, right? It's the number one cost. Yeah. Your fuel and your, your you know, uh, your your um, your uh, labor expense, you know, sure. sport fishing. It's, it, it adds up, you know. You must add a lot of expense on food because the quality of food yeah. you serve on that boat is pretty amazing. Yeah, uh, you know, and people, you know, they just got to realize that I like to think that you get what you pay for, yep. you know. And, you know, the Eclipse and the Command, you know, our charter prices are a little bit high. I mean, they are they are high, you know. But um, get well, what you pay for. You get what you That's pay what for. Yeah. Saying. And and you know what else too is your trips are all inclusive. People have to understand that they include right. everything, right? Yeah. When you really break it down, um, you know, I, one thing as a passenger, I like to go fishing on boats too and buy a ticket and from time to time and go out on and experience what it's like to be a passenger. And for me, when I get down on the boat and I get hit with this and hit with that, I would just rather have a number that I pay. You know, and then it doesn't include any gratuities or fish cleaning or um, rod rentals. But So your prices include permits, uh, FMMs if necessary, fuel surcharge, food, the whole gambit. Yeah, there's no fuel surcharge. You know, it's just, it's just it's included in the price of your trip. Yeah. Um, FMMs, usually we don't include those okay. only because we don't know. We, we don't want to have to charge you for something and then you know, you have to give it back or you have to deal with that money exchange if it's not necessary. Okay. A lot of times we may not. oh, we may say, hey, we're going to go, you know, to, I don't know, let's just say the Coronado Islands, and then we find out there's a really good Wahoo bite or, or a Dorado bite or something in U.S. waters. Well, it, you know, there's no no need to, take no need to go in. And so yeah. that, that, that's the only thing. Yeah. All right. There you go. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Let's head down to Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay. It's a big day today. We talked about it last Sunday. Ron Lane's on the line. Hey. Good morning, Ron. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, Ricky, I'm not worthy. <laughs> I can't believe that picture I saw with those three big old wahoo. God. The day after we were the, in the same <laughs> place are, trolling the same thing. You are the man. <laughs> he is. He is. Thanks, dude. It was fun. Uh, I am so impressed. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we got a big demo day going, and the other thing I'm impressed with is those new boats we got in. Tell us we about it. Well, we got the new I-11, which is an inflatable Mirage Drive kayak that's also a stand-up paddleboard. This thing's amazing. We're going to have it in the water today. We're going to be blowing it up. We're going to have a, a little lessons on the the new I-11 and the I-9. I think your brother-in-law has an I-9, Pete, but the new one has that new chair in it like the Outback does. Really? Woo-hoo! Man. Very comfortable. Yeah, so this is something that you can put in a backpack, throw it in the back of your car, or check it as a piece of luggage and take it with you wherever you go. Oh, yeah, we're already starting to plan our trips. I mean, I, there's some places I'd like to fly into, throw a couple of these in the back of the rental car, and all of a sudden you're in a... A really great spot with a really great fishing kayak. Yeah, so 
This you're going to be demoing those for free today, as well as uh, all the Hobie kayaks, the uh, all the Mirage Drive, including the 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 the, the, the Pro Anglers and everything, well, the, right? Yeah, the Pro Angler 17 is one that we are really going to focus on today because I fell in love with it again. I went fishing with my wife and my granddaughter last week and right at sunset. It was a gorgeous sunset, taking that little boat out. I'm telling you, it was like we had a skiff. And yeah. with the two Mirage drives, they're fast. It's amazing, yeah. So all that going on today. What times it start? What times it end, Ron? Oh, 9 to 1. We're gonna, we're, Perfect. Right when we open up, we're going to start displaying boats, and we're going to have uh, lessons on how to put big, heavy kayaks on top of your car, how to put them on the trailer. We're going to be launching them and demoing them. So if there's any people that are just sitting around going, hey, let's go down on the bay and check out a beautiful day on the bay, come by and try one of these wonderful kayaks. And if you want to know how to, if you've already purchased a, a, a Hobie kayak and you want to know how to put it on your car or truck properly, you're going to be demoing that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the Rhino T-Loader, that's a really a neat feature where it lever arms it right up on top of your car. We'll be doing that today. A, a, you know, whenever somebody comes in and is curious about it, we'll just pop in the video and we'll also go out and put it on a car. There you go. How do we find you, Ron? Fast Lane oh, just, Kayaks. Yep, we're right across the street from SeaWorld in Dana Landing Marina. If you have any trouble, you know, finding us, just call us at 619-222-0766. It's a, it's a lot easier to find us than for me and Pete to find Wahoo. That's for sure. We're going to try it again next week. One more it. shot at it, Ron. We're going. Get him, Ron. We're going to get one. All right, Ron. Good, good Ron Lane, job, Fast Lane Kayaks. We'll, we'll see you real soon. I Thanks think, a lot. Thank you. I think that idea of the workshops is such a cool idea. Oh, yeah. It's easy, one-on-one, bunch of people, cool thing to come down. I mean, even if you're a guy that knows it, you know how that is. Like, everything is all about the little little tips and tricks that you learn. I mean, you might be a guy that fishes your kayak once a week, but if you pick one of those things up, it makes it so worth it. Oh, yeah. It's cool worth thing. going down. To yeah. fa- what a beautiful day to go down fast lane kayaks in Mission no Bay. Doubt. and get Learn some new stuff. Yeah, Try some sure. new stuff out, too. All right. Well, hey, let's jump right back into the phones. Again, the phones are packed up solid. Mike in Allied Gardens. You're up next on Let's Talk Cookout. What's up, Mike? Good morning, Mike. Hey, there's one diehard Charger fan in Allied Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a lot more than one. Yeah, buddy. What's up, Mike? Well, I was really interested in uh, researching uh, encyclopedia sport fishing, and I found an Australian back in the 80s, they were trolling with an 80-pound tuna. You've heard of tuna tubes, you know, dropping tuna after uh, some fish. Well, they were trolling with an 80-pounder. They pulled in, a, you know, a 1,000-pound black marlin jumped it, and the, the photo was of this 80-pound black, uh, excuse me, tuna stuffed halfway down the throat of this black marlin, breaching the water. You know, crazy. It was wow. amazing. Pretty so awesome. So that got me interested in experimenting with uh, larger jigs and stuff. So we took a blade runner, you know, one of the large blade runners with the different holes punched in it, where you can make it dive or do different things. And we added on a 12-inch squid skirt, same color. It was a Dorado uh, blended color. And uh, we pulled in a 65-pound bull Dorado out of that. Sweet. Wow. I would encourage you to experiment with squid skirts, maybe even on your marauders. Now, it sounds wild. You know, you end up with a, a, a trolling rig that looks like it's about 16 to 18 inches. But, hey. Everything eats a squid. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, that's a good hit, Mike. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. I like it. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming here. More of your phone calls, more great information just like that. You stay tuned. And it's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Inland Boat Center is the destination for your next boat. They've been around 35 years, so they're here to stay with something for everyone. Inland Boat Center has a giant inventory of all types of boats, including the perfect saltwater fishing boats made by Arima and Defiance. Inland Boat Center has a huge 2.5 acre indoor showroom with over 300 new and pre-owned boats, making them the largest boat store on the West Coast. Family owned and operated, they are proud of their customer service. They take trades of all types. Come check out 
out their inventory of Defiance boats from 20 to 29 feet or the fantastic selection of the amazing Arima boats from 17 to 21 feet. Inland Boat Center has a full service department, fiberglass repair and upholstery department. Everything you need is under one roof at Inland Boat Center. 681 East San Jacinto in Paris. Check the website for the current inventory and more at InlandBoatCenter.com. Time to talk about great seafood. And if you can't get out and go fishing, or even if you can, you got to go to Point Loma Seafood because they have the freshest thing in town going on right now. I was there literally yesterday. The fish case that they had yesterday was maybe amongst the best I've ever seen. You know, all the all the cool things that you would want to see, killer looking piece of swordfish. They had unbelievable halibut and in the showcase, fresh local wahoo. Fresh local wahoo. I'll tell you what else I have fresh. It's not local. Alaskan king salmon. Lolly and I had it last night. We have now we have a freezer full of coho from Whalers Co. Sure. But there's nothing like the winter king salmon and that stuff is unbelievable. Winter You've Kings. never tasted salmon like that. Highest in fat, right? The highest Absolutely. oil, highest fat, everything yeah. you want in a killer. The, it, the case down there, I'm telling you, the case I saw yesterday is maybe the best I've ever seen. When that's saying something with a place like Point Loma Seafoods. You bet. So check it out. Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego landings in Point Loma. Have you ever imagined casting a fly or a lure on one of the most beautiful and productive rivers in Alaska? At Katmai Lodge, you can catch up to all five species of Pacific salmon. The king, sockeye, chump, pink, and silver salmon, along with rainbow trout, arctic grayling, dolly varden, and other native stream fish. When anglers dream of trophy salmon and trout, the Alagnac River is their destination, and Katmai Lodge is the premier base camp. Being the original river-based lodge on the Alagnac gives the facility a leg up on the competition. Both experienced and novice anglers have rated Katmai Lodge and its knowledgeable guides as the best of the best. Katmai Lodge is remote, yet offers all the amenities of a first-class lodge. During your Alaska visit, you'll see amazing wildlife, brown bears, caribou, eagles, moose, otters, and much more. Schedule a day trip on their private de Havilland Otter Float Plane and visit the world-famous Brooks Falls. Book online at katmai.com or call one 800 330 0326. That's catmy.com or call 1 800 330 0326 for the fishing adventure of a lifetime. My angler H2 Earth. Like the mighty flounder, I will keep one eye on the pole and the other watching for rogue waves. I'll save water by taking shorter showers and enthusiastically celebrate talk like a pirate day. Aye. I will chat up the locals before launching in unfamiliar waters. And I will always, always wear my life jacket. What's your H2Os? Tell us at BoatCalifornia.com. The California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways reminds you to wear it, California. Saturday, November 7th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. It's our largest sale ever. Plenty of seminars by saltwater experts, incredible deals on tackle, closeouts we've never offered before, plus over 20 tackle manufacturers' representatives like Costa, building high-quality polarized eyewear for serious saltwater anglers. Huge selection of Costa and get a free gift with every Costa purchase. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing will have unbelievable pricing on tackle, clothing, and accessories. There is also a huge raffle. Best ever tackle bargains at Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 7th. Check saltwatertackle.com. Fisherman's Landing has been the choice of sport fishing anglers for decades with the largest fleet of long-range boats worldwide. Complemented by Southern California's finest charter and open party fleet. Now is the time to book your long-range trips and charters, plus half-day trips aboard the Dolphin. Go to fishermanslanding.com and see trip availability and even book your trip online. Stop by or call Fisherman's Landing in San Diego and book now at fishermanslanding.com. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalSTAR. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalSTAR West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalSTAR at fine tackle stores everywhere. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. You're leaving on the Shogun tomorrow. Dude, I'm so Six day Let's I'm Talk so Hookup excited. skip trip. you yeah. got to be excited about I, that. I'm beyond excited okay, about so that. Okay, so Mark, you know, the year that Ricky's had, you know, Blue Marlin, Wahoo, Big Yellowtail, uh, Big Tuna, 
he's going to catch a 15 pound calico. <laughs> on this thing. You know what I think he's going to catch? I think he's going to yeah. catch an amberjack or an something. Amber it's something jack, really yeah. cool, like you know. A hundred pound amberjack. Yeah, like a good one there, you know. Yeah. Benitas or Cedros, yeah. he's going to catch a good, you know, a. a a grouper or something yeah. on a fly line, maybe on a, a surface sixty gig. pound yellowtail yeah. on the surface. I like the way you guys think. I'm not gonna lie. I like the way you think. You're charmed, man. This year, <laughs> it's your year. It's the year of the Ricky. This year, it's uh, pretty exciting. You know, you heard uh, the spot there for Inland Boat Center. Uh, speaking of them, they'll be in the studio with us tomorrow talking boats. They have, uh, of course, Defiance and Arima and a lot of other boats there. It's a huge location there in Paris, and uh, new sponsor on Let's Talk Hookup, and they are. Talking boats tomorrow on Let's Talk Hook Up seven and nine a.m. I've never seen a year where more people are interested in getting their own boat. Oh, is this not the year this for the year yeah. to buy a boat? And this is a good time to buy a boat this time of the year when things are kind of slowing down, you know, and the inventories are still up there. Uh, it's a good time. So if you're in the market, you want to investigate it tomorrow morning seven to nine a.m. on Let's Talk Hook Up. You want to listen to. And if those of you who listen to the first part of the show, uh, we're having a sale on our website, on our store. You just go to the shop page at hookup1090.com and you get twenty bucks off any order of seventy-five dollars or more, plus free shipping. You can get uh, the different lures we have, the clothing, AFCO clothing, the Let's Talk Hook Up hats and T-shirts. Uh, we have the uh, Let's Talk Hook Up bags. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff on there, the new coffee mugs, uh, all on sale, 20 bucks off any order, $75 or more, plus free shipping. You just use the code HOOK20 uh, at checkout in the, co- in the little box there. Just type in HOOK20, and you get the 20 bucks off. So check that out at hookup1090.com. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phones. You got it, man. Well, the phones are packed up. This time we're going to talk to Cliff, and he's calling us from Santa Barbara this morning. Good morning, Cliff. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, guys. How you doing? What's up, Cliff? We're uh, doing great. Yeah, I'm the one that caught the big blue fin uh, three months ago on the eclipse, and I just want to talk about that was the best fishing trip I ever had in a huh. very long time. That was a fish that I thought it would I would never get in my lifetime, and I just want to thank the crew of the eclipse for the opportunity to be able to do that. How big was that fish? It was right at, on the boat, we picked him out at 200. Oh. Uh, when we got to the scales, it was like 189, somewhere in there. Oh, wow. How cool is that, That's a memorable that, fish dude. there locally. Yeah. yeah. What a, what and a the catch, fact man. that I caught him on a flat fall, 250 gram. Oh. A 250 gram flat, Shimano flat fall. Unbelievable. Yes. yes. Yeah. Good for that you. Was, yeah. How that long was, did it take you to pull in, Cliff? It was two hours. Two, two hours. hours. Bites, to our fight, and it took three of us to get him. The skipper had to get up on the bow of the boat in order to get the last few inches of fight of the fish where they had to gaff him. Nice. And it took three gaffs to bring the fish on board. Unbelievable. What a catch, Cliff. Cl- catch of yeah. a lifetime That's aboard rad. the Eclipse, definitely. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to next year to get on the boat again and have at it again. All right. Well, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Appreciate that. Congratulations on that I, epic fish. I remember week after week, you know, you calling in or Adam calling in, whoever calling in, you know, reports from the Eclipse and Commander and everything, and you were a big proponent of those flat falls way early on in the game, especially when, you know, middle of summer, things are going crazy, bait situation sometimes a little bit tough. Those freaking things got bit really good. <laughs> yes, they do. They get bit. I mean, there, there's times I really feel that they outperform live bait. Wow. No doubt about it. Yeah, I know you were like, i got to get some of these. Do you know where I can get them? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're available we, now. Yeah, we, yeah, my business partner, Christopher, he'd find them in a tackle. Like, he would just call me <laughs> up. I got them here. Do you want them? I'd buy them all. Buy them all. And, and, and one can. thing we did on our boats is we, we bought enough for every passenger to fish with a flat fall. Um, and the reason that we did that, because bait was tough. So we, we were able to buy them, and we let people use them for no charge. Um, and if they lost them, they bought them. But other than that, they were able to come out and use them. That's um, bad. When, when, and that's just something that, you know, something my business you partner really brings to the table. He really sees vision like that, and, and uh, I think that was a really good call by him. Very good call, absolutely. That's awesome. I lo- yeah. yeah, you guys, you know, like you said, you do it right. You Paid off for right Cliff. Thing. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> no that's doubt. an epic catch. Hey, thanks a lot for the call, and let's go ahead and jump back into it. You got it. This time, Kenny and UTC is up next on the line. What's up, Kenny? Hey, good morning. Good morning. I was just, uh, I used to commercial fish a long time ago, and I can remember fishing Clarion Island there with just trolling feathers, just a white trolling feather with a pink skirt for the red eyes. Sure. 
we went through like seven of them. My brother wouldn't give me any more. So we were just throwing just the heads and did water on them. That's crazy. Yeah. Has anybody got a rainbow runner yet up here? No, but uh, that that's is... That's a good point. Yeah, that is a good point. But like I said, I think uh, my personal opinion is a lot of these fish are coming from, from Hawaii over here. And the rainbow sure. runners tend to be more of a... Uh, Baja and Lower Mexico, and, and that makes sense because of the short-billed spearfish too. Short-billed spearfish. You don't I see short-billed spearfish those. in Mexico, but you see them in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, got one of those up on uh, Big Big Tree Island. That's pretty yeah. cool, man. That really is. Yeah, yeah. We we've got one or two on the eclipse. Uh, short-billed spearfish. Yeah. Yeah, That's interesting. I know. Um, That's the one I'd love to catch. Yeah, no doubt. I, I remember Frank put up a picture on the Royal, or the Royal Polaris rather, put up a picture on their website. They had a rainbow runner. It, it's not like it was, it's not like it was super close to home, but I know that it was way northern of where they typically see him. It was somewhere on the ridge, but it was, it wasn't the fact that one, it was very far north, but two, it was a giant one, like close to twenty pounds giant. You wow. Know? And, yeah. yeah I mean, it was a really big one, and I know that. The, so I know that there was some, you know abnormal rainbow runner catches here, but I certainly haven't heard of one in La Jolla or anything. Yeah, yeah. well, but uh, Fred Huber on the Daily Double caught Amber Jack. Jack. They've caught triggerfish, which I guess triggerfish aren't uncommon here. That's but, not uncommon. Yeah. Uh, the amberjack that they caught, that was um, very uncommon. You know, if you, you start thinking about rainbow runners, you start thinking about other species of fish down there, Sierras. You know, you'd think that right. those Sierras would come racing yeah. up here in that Wouldn't hot water. Wouldn't that be cool? Gundy's catching Sierras <laughs> off the beach, right? Oh, uh, I think it'd be cool if we, you know, we start fish. turning them in at the islands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. Hey, we're going back into the phones. We're talking to James calling from Oceanside. What's up, James? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey. <clears throat> good morning, guys. Good morning, James. Morning. Hey, uh... Uh, good morning, Captain. I look forward to seeing Commander. Uh, I have been watching the renovations you guys did on that boat, and I can't wait to fish it. Thank um, you. My my question today is, um, speaking of Hawaii, is I'm going to Hawaii in uh, the week before Thanksgiving. I'm fishing a six-pack charter, and I'm also planning on packing a uh, uh, surf uh, rod, a collapsible rig, and I was looking for gear tips. And also what I should expect. And I know the, um, what, also what is the difference between an amberjack and a yellowtail, uh, that kind of thing. And, um, just looking for any insights you guys might be able to give me for, uh, fishing Maui for the first time. In Maui. All right. Very good. Well, you know, um, I'm not sure. With, they've had very warm water there too. I was in, uh, Kauai in, in September and they were experiencing very warm water, but they were also experiencing some slow fishing on the mahi. But there's quite a bit of Ono or Wahoo around. There's some blue marlin around, short billed spearfish, and they've been had a pretty good tuna season. We uh, we carry, um, you know, Captain Steve Carroll, who's good friends of, right. you know, the boys up at Ken's Custom Reels, and just one of the good guys who runs a boat in Maui. And he also makes Maui Island fishing lures, which we carry in the tackle store. And we were just, we got some more jigs coming. I only say that because I talked to him yesterday. And he was over here visiting some friends and saying that he. He picked the perfect time because fishing had been very good over there in Maui. And then it gotten slow for about a week or well, a couple of weeks while, while he was over here visiting friends. And he said he just got back to the island. This is two or three, you know, two or three days ago. And uh, and the fishing has really been spiking again lately. So good. there's been some very good blue marlin fishing. And just like you said, there's been some good tuna to be had. Kind of because well, the water's but. been warm, maybe it's kind of more the summer season now there. And you might be, your timing might be good. You know, you might even look that up. Um, Steve Carroll's a great guy, yeah. former Southern Californian, worked well with uh, with uh, Ken's Custom Reels. Uh, uh, Ricky can uh, is looking up the website for you. You could probably contact okay, him great. through his website. And Steve would have much more insight in Maui fishing. Are you staying on the on the west side there or the east side? Yeah, up on the uh, the north, uh, up on Kalapani Sh- Kalap- Kalapali Shores. Okay, kind of uh, beautiful place. that area. Yeah, and okay. uh, and just really looking forward to it. It's my first time there, and. Uh, I've I've learned so much from this show and uh uh my confidence is, is just really high. I'm just can't wait to come in and uh pick up a collapsible system that I can travel with uh to uh explore the shore fishing uh around the rocks and, and jetties and, and different different things around there. And uh as far as gear as as far as that goes, uh light inshore tackle, uh Rick, what can you uh recommend on that? I wouldn't go light over there. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Rick? No, but you know what they do have there? They do have bonefish in the shallows there. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you might want to, you know, call call up over there and for a local guide, and they'd probably be able to give you a better gear recommendation. Um, you can get to Lua there um, right off the shoreline. Uh, but I do know that there's quite a population of reef fish and stuff like that for light fishing. And, James, you're in Oceanside. I know that Dana Landing in Mission Bay carries those Akuma uh, collapsible rods, the uh, three-piece, four-piece rods. They do yep, have an, uh, yep. the one of those Akuma, and they're pretty reasonably priced. Uh, they do have one of those rods. It's a pretty stout rod. Uh, but what I would do is I'd call, I'd try and get a hold of either Ken's Custom Reels in Oceanside or exactly. just call Ken, Ken Custom Reels and ask for Ken. Tell him that you you talk to us on the show and he'll give you the number for Steve. Tell Steve that you're a friend of the show and uh, Steve's a good friend of all of ours. And, and, and that would be your best insight right there. You'll get the full inside scoop to somebody that actually fishes the island right there. I think that's the best yeah. advice you can give. For you sure. bet. Ken's Custom Reels in Oceanside, right in Oceanside Side Harbor. James, have a great time. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. You know, speaking of tackle, two weeks from today ah. is a big event. Tackle days at Fisherman's Landing. You've probably heard the spots this morning about all the different tackle that they have. 20 to 60% off the largest sale of the year. And I know you guys, you've been busting it hard there. You get to be leave on the show then for a week. It's like, you, you know, but I know Doug's going to be really humping it next <laughs> well, week. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I, I'm knowing that that's been going on. The days have been pretty crazy, you know, knowing that <clears throat> you I got to get all... 12 hours last <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yesterday and then again two days before that, yeah. just making sure. But it's 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 it. It's our biggest it's our biggest sale of the year. That includes everything. Includes all the all the hall shows and everything like that. It, it's our best one. And you know the thing that struck me was this morning when Mark was saying, you know, stock up on your heavy iron, the things that were so hard to get. You know, we're we're very fortunate at Fisherman's Landing to have some very good relationships with some of the the best tackle guys, and we're we're loaded. You know, we're going to have a huge wahoo, kind of a wahoo wall at the. For tackle days, we're going to have a huge thing of salus jigs and taddy jigs and all the all the right stuff, flat falls, all, all that kind of stuff. And everything, you know, everything is going to be right. You know, buying jigs, buy, you know, buy three, get one free. Do, you know, a lot of, and everything's lot of free on sale. incentives. Everything is on sale. Day starts with a live broadcast, a so Let's Talk hookup right there. We'll be broadcasting live uh, Saturday, November 7th, right there from Fisherman's Landing. A week from the day, Halloween day, Doug cool Kern will be in the studio a Halloween to talk about that right. sale and more there. So you'll be still on the boat just Gosh, coming in, right? You'll be coming in that morning. Yeah, yeah coming in that morning. Hope to hear about a skip Wahoo. Hopefully with that 60-pound or... <laughs> yellowtail you guys yeah, are talking exactly, about. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Which one would you rather have, the 60-pound yellow or the 15-pound calico? Ooh, well, I, would take easy. A, I would take a 15-pound calico. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, Absolutely. Because no, 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 yeah. no, there's never been one caught. Well, and I got a 52-pounder on my wall. So oh, I'm, I'm good, I'm good that, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, good, I'm good with that. He's a 52-pound yellow so, yeah. I'm not, so, Probably, yeah, probably caught it at La Jolla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a week, two weeks from the day, tackle day, one week from the day, Doug Curran in the studio. You It'll don't be want to fun, that. yeah. Hey, let's jump right back into the phones. They're packed solid. This time, we're talking to Brian. He's calling us from Wildemarg. What's up, Brian? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. I really can't get over the uh, professionalism of, of the show, man. I mean, from information from Maui to the sat phone down from the lower banks, from Oregon to Christmas Island, man, you guys got it all covered. Thank you. Having fun. Yeah, the show has a, a real commitment to excellence. Thank you very much. I like the way you talk. Oh, oh, get geez. out of oh. here with that. <laughs> very <laughs> good, Brian. <laughs> very good. Yes, we do, but we're not Raider fans. <laughs> very good. I'll give it to you. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> uh, uh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> Mark, with your theory of the fish coming in from the west, um, with, with your theory of the fish coming in from the west, what do you think about the cow tuna? I mean, if they're not going to hit the lower banks, where do you think the cow tuna might land this season? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, that would be more of a question for Andy Cates or Frank Lopresti or somebody of that knowledge. Um, but, you know, that, that fish is, is typically between Puerto Vallarta and, uh, and the islands down below, and that, that, that kind of runs down. But that water is really, really warm, like you heard Andy say earlier on the show. Um, you know, and that, that cow tuna likes a little bit cooler water. So maybe those guys are going to get a shot at that on their 10-day trips uh, you know, once the water starts cooling off, um, hard, hard to tell, you know. But uh, I, I'm sure that fish is going to be around somewhere down there, you know. It would be really cool to see yeah. that lower bank start to bite again. You know, maybe this is the uh, water Maybe this is the water that creates that lower bank to start biting again. Who knows, you know, what's going to go on. Yeah, indeed. It's, uh, it's, it, you know, there's still plenty of fish and plenty of season to come. We could get cow tuna here. Seriously, the water's yeah. certainly right. 
And you know what would be really cool is you know those ones in Hawaii that have those big, big long sits. Yeah, the when they used to call Allison. Yeah. yeah, it could be. It could happen here. It could. Big Eye could happen. I mean, yeah. We just don't know. It's not over by any means. No, that's right. So you just got to go fishing. That's it. Man. There you go. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. How about we jump right back in again? This time we're going to talk to Ed. He's calling us from Mira Mesa. Hi, Ed. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, guys. I have a couple questions. Uh, one's from Arthur. Uh, about a year ago, I went on uh, the Eclipse, and I was able to uh, uh, to get a bunk uh, down there to where, you know, I request a bunk, you know, by number. Now, are, are you still doing that? Yeah. Generally, when we book our trips through our own website, um, our office personnel will give you a call and or or, or you, if you call in. And you get to choose your bunk on based of ordering, uh, based on um, uh, when you book your when trip. You so the earlier you book, the more choice you have. Yeah, this is it's an incentive for folks to book earlier, um, and they can be able to choose the bunk that they want. So, yeah. um, so know. if you know the boat, you've been on the boat, uh, you have a favorite, uh, just yeah, book even your if, trip now. Even if you don't, you know Nyla will be able to help you out with finding the right bunk for you, especially for folks that have CPAP machines or older folks, you know. Um, folks with disabilities, we're, you know, able to put them in, in bunks that are uh, more suitable and, and more comfortable for them. Indeed. That's cool. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right. How about next up, we talk to Rich, calling us from Bradley this morning. Hi, Rich. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Oh, good to be here. I'm having a great time listening to this show. Yeah, thanks. thanks, Rich. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, you know, with all the Wahoo that have been showing up in the fish counts and the party boats all the way from San Diego to uh, even Ventura area, uh, I want to be prepared when I'm out there, and I'm hoping maybe you can set me on the right uh, track and uh, line me up. Um, I'm wondering, do you catch them on bait? Uh, how do I rig up if I'm going to catch them on bait? And what do I look for to when I want to have that uh, Wahoo rig in the water on a party boat? Uh, well, we did catch one on the trip Pete was on with us uh, on bait on 30-pound test. Yeah, yeah, that was on straight mono. Straight is, mono. Yeah, that's not super what you want, though, yeah. is it? No, it's really not. <laughs> Definitely not. That was no. really lucky. <laughs> no, uh-uh. But, uh, you know, they got lucky. I, you know, when I fished long range, we used to fish 40-pound test uh, wire leaders. Um, those seem to work out pretty well. You can get a couple of those rigged up with some 1.0 or 2.0 hooks. Uh, Fisherman's Landing will be able to do that for you. Uh, guys over at Ken's can do that for you. Um, you know, you want if you, there's any mackerel in the tank, that's what I'd be fishing. They really like mackerel. Um, do you use a sinker? I do not. I don't prefer to use a sinker personally for tuna fishing or any kind of surface fishing unless, you know, we're on drifting for bluefin my, myself. But um, my theory has always been if a fish is 100 feet down and, and it wants to eat, it's going to come up and eat. Um, it's just like if there's a, a burger and a beer up on the bow and you're hungry and thirsty and you're going to walk that 80 feet that most sport boats are, you know, and, and <laughs> you know, go up and get that burger. Fish is the same way. So um, uh, Two feet to 40 pound, huh? Uh, no, no, I would. It's uh, the wire leaders are generally, I would say, eight to ten inches long. Is that about right, Rick? A foot long? Yeah, I would. I would say. I would say probably maybe even a little bit more than that, like twelve to twelve to twenty-four yeah. inches, somewhere in there. You know, sixteen, eighteen. Don't inches. need a lot. No, you, just you don't. Need to protect from the teeth. Sixteen, sixteen, eighteen inches is most common. We we uh, the ones we make up in the store are forty-four pound single strand wire. The tay wire twisted. To just a regular good live bait hook, you know, like yeah. a two o gamakatsu, just a regular good J hook, like you say, you sharp J hook. Yeah, just you want a, a yeah. really good yes. sharp hook like a gamakatsu. Yeah, I mean they're they're not an easy fish to hook. Wahoo is like the ultimate escape artist, and they're very humbling. They're very difficult fish to get hooks into. So that is definitely one of the one of the cases where having a high end hook like a gamakatsu hook is it's not a bad call. It's your Wahoo. It's your one fish of the season. If there's a time to justify spending a couple bucks, you know, for a for a nice little rig, that would be it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. thanks a lot for the call. Before we run out of time, Jim Salazar wanted to talk about Mike Lum and his experience <laughs> aboard the Eclipse. Yeah, he had a great time. He, he caught a lot of fish. He caught a big dorado. He did. He had a, he had a good trip. And uh, yeah, we saw some pilot whales. Uh, and and we were coming, you know, just outside the Coronado Islands. I wanted to check out the pilot whales. And and Mike Lum was going up the port side. We were at the He's weather with side. Hall show, of course. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, he his timing couldn't have been any better, and we took a good good wave right over the side. And just as I told people, we should probably go up the starboard side. And I look over the side, and 
I hear somebody kind of yell, and I look over the side, and I see Mike just drenched from head to toe. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing. I still think it's funny. So. It still is Mike, funny. I'm sorry about that if you're out there. But we had to tell about I'm kind of not sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry that I'm not sorry. <laughs> Some good laughs. Yeah. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup. We're going to find out who's going fishing on the Commander. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. No matter the fishing conditions, count on the Seaguar family of fluorocarbon leader material to help you catch more fish. Fluoro Premier has a smaller diameter with the highest break strength. Plus, it is super soft. When bites are tough, tie on Fluoro Premier. Blue Label is tough as nails with incredible abrasion resistance and impact strength. And new Pink Label is the choice for tough light conditions, giving you a little more visibility for better line control. Pick up a spool of Seaguar at your favorite tackle dealer or visit Seaguar.com. Saturday, November 7th, it's Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Our largest sale ever. Seminars by saltwater experts and incredible deals on tackle. Plus, over 20 tackle manufacturers like Costa, building high-quality polarized eyewear for serious saltwater anglers. Tackle Day at Fisherman's Landing, Saturday, November 7th. Check saltwatertackle.com. You can catch more lobster and pull deeper with the Ace Line Hauler. It's faster so you can get those bugs in the boat. Now the Ace Line Hauler is better than ever with the Bulldog Hands-Free Accessory. It pulls your hoops hands-free and even coils your line. If you're not yet on the Ace Line Hauler team, you must like sore arms. Get the Ace Line Hauler and make lobster and crab hooping more fun and productive at selected dealers or check acelinehauler.com. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. Rancho Leonero is very family oriented. People have brought their children down and now they're bringing their children. It's not unusual to have three generations of family at the hotel. Grandpa, dad, and uh, normally sons, sometimes daughters. The families come back year after year and it's a safe place for the kids. It's small, it's intimate, right on the water, two miles of beachfront. The water's very shallow in front. There's no currents to speak of, no waves. We have child care, $10 a day for a babysitter. Security is high at Rancho Lanero. It's really unnecessary, but it adds up comfort level. And we really do encourage the families. It's a great place for family reunions, family get-togethers, weddings. We do it all. 1-800-646-2252. 646-Baja. And RanchoLanero.com. There's nowhere that I can think of to have the same atmosphere and the same experience that you get at Rancho Lanero. We love families. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing, and it's all run by fishermen for fishermen 1717 Quivera Road just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay book online at seaforthlanding.com The best NFL coverage is right here Up inside the pylon for a touchdown San Diego's sports leader the mighty 1090 Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Right, you hear that uh, in the in you know Chargers touchdown. That's what you can hear a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> hey, the big winner of a trip going fishing aboard the Commander, and I got to tell you, you're going to be so stoked because obviously working at the shop, I get to see that boat pull in all the time, and you are going to absolutely love it. It's an awesome ride. Ed in Mira Mesa, you're going to go fishing on that Commander. Ed, congratulations! You're like I said, great time, really great crew that you've assembled on that boat too, Mark. I really yeah, like all the guys on really, the Commander. Really yeah, nice. lots of fun. So if somebody wants to fish aboard the Commander or the Eclipse, what's the deal? Yeah, just go to our websites. You know, uh, Eclipse Sport Fishing, Commander Sport Fishing. Now is also the time if you're thinking about doing a charter next year. Uh, believe it or not, now would be the time between now and the end of the year to get better pricing before the prices go up. And uh, it would it's make sure you lock in your date. Oh, yeah. Because they, I'm telling you, most of the weekends are already sold out on the Eclipse. So yeah. um, make sure you get with us. And uh, one thing I, I wanted to mention on the show, uh, 
So you're going to do the Tune Awards again here next year. Right. Just got off the phone with, with those guys. So we'll be having uh, Mr. Marciano, who's become a really good friend of mine. That's right. Um, and uh, what a great hey, guy. Marciano, yeah. Yeah, support friend of Rollo. And I think uh, as soon as those guys get everything together, the yep. tickets will be on sale for that event again this year, too. Oh, yeah, and they're going to go yeah. quickly, too. Very so, quickly. Yeah, we'll keep you posted on Let's Talk Hookup for that. Well, congratulations on that. And thanks a lot for uh, all the support that you guys give us here on Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah. Hey, we awesome. appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right. Hey, tomorrow on Let's Talk Hookup, another great show for you. A lot of talk about tuna and wahoo and dorado and marlin and spearfish and who knows what who else. Knows what else? Yeah. yeah. And the guys from Inland Boat Center, James Hellman and his gang, will be here from Inland Boat Center talking about how you can own a boat and go fishing and catch your own Ooh, on your boat. That's like tomorrow that. morning, 7 to 9 a.m. Thanks for listening today. Thanks to Adam covering for uh, the whole thing this morning. And, Ryan's uh, probably sure, pulling on yeah, a tune Ryan's right now. Ryan's pulling on a tune on the Royal Players right now. So, hey, thanks for listening today. We'll see you tomorrow on Mighty 1090.